الحمدللہ رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحابه اجمعين اما بعد قال النبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم اكمل المؤمنين ايمانا احسنهم خلقا all praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and salutation be on our prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and his companions uh, yesterday we talked about our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our relationship with the people today we will continue with the topic of relationship with our with the people our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam said atmalu mu'minina imanan ahsanuhum khuluqan atmalu mu'minina imanan the perfect mu'min perfect believer perfect man in respect of belief is the one who is perfect in his behavior, in his character. In this hadith, our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has emphasized on the importance of good behavior, good manner. Yesterday, we, uh, when we mentioned the hadith, hasan, and treat people perfectly, excellently. In that hadith, our Prophet has guided us to, to be good with the people. Today's, in today's hadith, our Prophet also guides us how to maintain our relationship with the people. How should we be in respect of character and behavior and manner? Our Prophet said, "Akmalul mu'minina imanan ahsanu khuluqan." The perfect mu'min, perfect believer, is the one who is perfect in his manner, in his character, in his behavior. Sometimes we think that the perfect man is who is praying, who is doing istighfar, who is doing tasbihat, who is performing salah, who is do, uh, giving zakat. But the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, here guides us that the perfect man, the perfect believer is the one who is perfect in his manner. Now the question is what is good manner? What is good akhlaq? In another hadith, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked his companion, Hazrat uh, Ali radiallahu ta'ala and Hazrat Mu'az ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala Our Prophet said, Ala unabbi'ukum bi afdali akhlaqi ahlil ardi wa sama. O our companions, should I inform you about the best man in respect of akhlaq, in respect of manner in the sky and on the earth. After that, his companion said, yes, we are here to listen to you, to your guidance. We are here to take guidance from you. So please, please guide us. Who is the, who is having perfect manner who is having perfect akhlaq and what is the perfect akhlaq? What is the perfect manner? After that, our Prophet sallallahu ta'ala said an tasila man qata'aka wa an ta'fuwa amman zalamaka wa an tu'tiya man haramaka Here, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned three points. First point is 
ان تصل من قطع سیکنڈ پوائنٹ از ان تعفو عمن ظلمك اینڈ تھرڈ پوائنٹ از ان تعطی من حرمك اٹ مینز فرسٹ پوائنٹ ان تصل من قطع that you may relationship with whom who are cutting the relationship who are breaking relationship who are breaking chains of relationship we generally and commonly try to make relationship with the people who want to make relationship with us we do not put efforts to make relationship with the people who are uh, who are angry from us who are not happy with us but our prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam incites us to make relationship with the people who are angry who are our enemies we have to make relationship good relationship with our enemies also because making making relationship and making good uh, relation good chains of bonding with the people who are also making relationship with us is a common thing there is nothing something uh, very extraordinary extraordinary thing is that we make relationship with the people who cut the relationship who cut the chains of bondings so our prophet said an tasila man qata you make relationship with the people who want to cut the relationship this is actually high level of akhlaq this is the excellence in respect of akhlaq and when we see and read our prophet study our prophet's life we also find the glimpses of this kind of akhlaq this kind of uh, good manner in the seerah of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam see remember the incident when the makka was uh, invaded by the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he was the victorious he did not harm anyone and he won the makka when the people of makka was were surrounded uh, and uh, surrounded around the kaaba they they were waiting for their uh, result outcome of the, the victory what kind of treatment will be uh, put with them they were waiting our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam came and asked his companions oh my companions what kind of treatment we should put forward with these kind of people who are who are cruel on us to us and they were mal treating us how should we treat our prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam's companions were brutally beaten and they were uh, they they have suffered many kind of torment from them that's why they said ya rasulullah al yawm yawm al malhamah o oh, our prophet today is the day of day of uh, badla they, uh, we we will also torment them we also punish them they have all, uh, they have tormented us that's why we will torment them but our prophet at that time said no al yawma yawmul marhama today is the day of mercy today is the day of uh, having uh, mercy on the people so our prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam at that time tried to make relationship with the people who have cut the relationship they did not care they, the people of makka did not care about the relationship which which was uh, established by their fathers and their ancestors with the our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala 
they cut the relationship they did not care about him but about the prophet relation uh, prophet's relationship they did not care but our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was in power he cared he tried to make bondings with the people of makkah and said an tasila man qata'ata you make relationship with the people who want to cut the relationship first point after that our prophet said wa an ta'fu an man zalamaka and you forgive the people who are doing wrong with you who are unjust towards you this is also the main point and very important forgiving the person who also forgives us is something common there is not, nothing new but the best thing is that we forgive the people who does not forgive us and here also i will say that when we read and when we study the life of our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam we see that we know very well that uh, people of makkah uh, tried to put many kind of uh, torments on the prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam and his companions they were unjust with the uh, with our prophet and uh, our prophet's companions but when here also i will say that uh, at the time of uh, victory of makkah when the people were uh, surrounded uh, and they were gathered around the kaaba our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam said regarding his enemies regarding cruel people he said al yawm yawm al marha today is the day of rahm day of mercy and after that our prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam said to the people of makkah o oh, the people of makkah i will say what the prophet yusuf has said and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has narrated his word in the holy book allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, about uh, narrating his, the words of hazrat yusuf alayhi salam la tasriba alaykum al-yawm yaghfiru allah lakum wa huwa arhamur rahimin o our brothers uh, the yusuf said to his brothers who were cruel to him what he said he said la tasriba alaykum al-yawm today is not the day of uh, punishment today is not the day of torment i am forgiving all of you you were unjust towards me but i am forgiving you all that word and that sentence seated our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the time of victory of bakka and he said i will say what the prophet yusuf alaihi salam has said to his brothers and the difference between the words of hazrat yusuf and hazrat our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that the that sentence which was delivered by hazrat yusuf was uh, communicated with the with his brothers dedicated to his brothers and making bondings and for for giving uh, brothers is something common but our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that is khulq muhammadi our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to his enemies to the people who were cruel who were unjust towards him and his companions his people he said izhabu wa antum khulaqa go leave izhabu wa antum tulaqa you all are free here i'm not giving to uh, give you any kind of torment izhabu jao go antum tulaqa you all are free la tasriba alaykum yo today is the day of rahm today is the day of mercy yaghfirullahu lakum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also will forgive you wa huwa arhamur rahimin and he is the most merciful among the uh, mercy towards the second point the second point is an ta'fu amman zalamaka 
After that, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala said, Wa an man haramaka. And you give the people who does not want to give you something. Giving to the people who, are, who also gives you in the time of need is something common. But, but our Prophet وسلم, is teaching us regarding the best map, the best akhlaq, best behavior. How should we be towards the people? Towards the people, whether they are our enemies or our uh, friends. How should we be? He said, You give the people who do not want to give you in the time of need. And also here I will say that when we uh, read the life of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala uh, we will find that our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala was giving his uh, giving money to the people who are not believing in him, in his messengership. He, he, uh, the people who were not uh, respecting him. There, there were a, a special group of people who were not believers. But the Prophet Muhammad was helping them with his money, with his wealth, with mal. So, in the light of this hadith, our Prophet Muhammad had, had, had taught us that the best and perfect believer is the one who is perfect in his behavior and in, in his manner. And what is the perfect akhlaq, perfect behavior? Our Prophet had also taught us here that uh, the best akhlaq is making relationship with the people who break the chain of relationship. And second point, he mentioned that we, that forgiving the people who are unjust towards us, who are, uh, their treatment is not good towards us, us, is also a sign of perfect akhlaq. And third point, what Prophet Muhammad concluded that giving money and helping the people who are not helping us. Helping the people who are not helping us and giving money to the people who are not giving us is also a symbol of perfect akhla. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he always makes us make us perfect in respect of akhla, in respect of iman, and we always uh, should make relationship with our enemies also. We try to correct our relationship with our enemies also. They want or does not want. We should always should be, we also always should be just and uh, just and merciful towards our, towards the people who are unjust towards us. At there is Sayyid al-Hasana doing uh, uh, doing something good in exchange of uh, bad is something which has been recommended by our uh, creator also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his holy Quran, ahsan. Remove the bad thing by the good thing, doing good things. So, all of us we should, uh, should be just towards the people who are unjust towards us. And that uh, we should also be uh, helping always the people who are in time of need, who are needing something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this Ramadan uh, a source of forgiveness, source of blessings. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounties uh, and his messengers, messengers love and mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always guide us towards the, the right path and make us uh, obedient servant. Allahumma amin. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayl khalpihi sayyidina wa murana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in.